Surely you recognize some of the first installment of the series that makes your hair stand on end. If you look like me, within 10 minutes of starting to watch The Curse of Bly Manor, you were googling the cast to find the answer to one of two questions. For all of her days, leaving the only trace of who she once was in the memory of the woman who loved her most. 1. Where have I seen these people before in The Curse of Hill House and 2. Do any of them have a British accent? It's okay to get confused, as Bly Manor, the second installment in what I suppose we can call the haunting saga, isn't a sequel. But it does have some familiar faces of actors playing different characters in a different story. It's set in the 80s in a small English town, with some very murky accents. Here's your guide to who's who in the cast, many of whom appeared in Hill House, and they are not really British. Victoria Pedretti is fast becoming the leading queen of Netflix horror and scare series. After making her big debut in The Curse of Hill House in the role of Eleanor Nell Crane, remember that girl whose neck was bent? For a guy who works at an opera and you sorely lack an understanding of the pescatarian lifestyle. <laughs> and later she appeared in You, where she was Love Quinn. This actress, who was born in Pennsylvania, also had a role in Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood as Lulu, one of the members of the terrifying Manson family. In Bly Manor she plays the main character, Donnie Clayton, a woman who agrees to work in a haunted house with some spooky children. Oliver Jackson Cohen another familiar side of the curse of Hill House. Jackson Cohen played junkie Luke Crane in the first installment of this Netflix horror anthology. He seems to be getting the chills and fear going, as he played Adrian Griffin in the Invisible Man remake earlier this year. The London-born actor plays Peter Quint, the series' creepy and toxic male character. Henry Thomas you will recognize Henry Thomas from The Curse of Hill House, where he played young Hugh Crane. It is the second season he reprises the role of tortured father figure, where he plays Henry Wingrave, the bitter uncle of the spooky Wingrave orphan children who has a few demons of his own. Thomas, born in Texas, is an old acquaintance for playing Elliot in Eastern Time, but has made a big comeback in recent years as a horror star in other Mike Flanagan films, Ouija, Dawn of Evil, Gerald's Game, and Doctor Sleep. Owen tried to breathe life into Henry, who hovered between life and death. Naya Miller has appeared on several television series in the UK, including Sex Education and Years and Years. Unlike other cast members, I don't know where I'll go after his I be brave in death, Hannah. so selfish to remain hidden in the memory he did not appear in the first season in Bly manner she plays hannah gross the mysterious housekeeper who doesn't eat or drink and seems to be pretty confused most of the time <laughs> dr rahul coley played dr ravi chakrabarty on the zombie series dot like miller this is his first appearance on the netflix horror series he plays Owen, the cheerful chef of the house who likes to make jokes like the father of the 90s series, and does not seem to know that he is living a horror story. So I'll always be here. But you don't want me to be her. Nor the kids. Did I leave? I don't know where I'll go after as I be brave in death, I know. Amelia Eve plays gardener Jamie in one of her first big roles. He previously had a small appearance on the Enterprise series. At long last, deep within the old pair's heart, there was peace. The British actress Tahira Sharif is another of the novelties of the series in the second season. Let's talk you away one last time. Go ahead, love. Let me handle this part. Sharif previously appeared on the Netflix series A Christmas Prince. The Royal Wedding. It's okay, sweetheart. You won't feel it. I'll feel it for you. Hope you liked that video and if you haven't subscribed this channel, do subscribe it and we will see you in the next video. Uh,